Now, in this quick example, we want to look at how we can use jQuery to copy the contents from one form element into another. A common example of this would be like on a checkout page where someone asks, is your billing address the same as a shipping address? And if you click on the checkbox or little button, it copies all that information over for you so the end user doesn't have to do it, just making it just a little bit faster and easier for them. So in this example, when we click on the copy button, we're going to copy the contents from the original box into the secondary box. Here we have a very basic HTML page and we have our script tag where we're loading in jQuery from code.jQuery.com. Inside of document.ready, I'm going to do a simple event handler for my copy button. I have my copy button with an ID of copy, so I'm going to set my selector for that and I'm going to say click and then I'm going to define my function I'll use. Inside of that, I'm going to have a selector for my secondary box. That secondary box has an ID of target. I want to set the value of this input tag. That's my text box. To do so, I'll use the val command. And val is a built-in method inside of jQuery that lets us either get or set a value. If we pass in a value, then we are setting that value. If we do not pass in a value, we are retrieving that value. And the value that we pass in can be either a direct value, it can be from a variable, or it can be returned from another function call. In this case, we're going to set up our selector, and we have our selector for original, and we're call the val method again. So what we're going to do is take the value from our original text box, and we get that value because we're not passing any parameters, and we pass it into the val method for our target text box, and that's going to copy that information into it. We're going to save this HTML document, switch back to our example, reload. This is a test. Click copy, and it copies the information over. Now, if I delete this information and change it, notice it does not copy it over. The copy button only copies whatever is currently in the text box, and I have to click on it again if I want to update my information.